Hi, welcome to the Recovery Daily Podcast. I'm your host, Rachel Avasi. I'm a grateful recovering alcoholic and stroke survivor. Today's writing prompt for our Serenity Prayer Daily Reflection Listener Challenge, that's a mouthful, is reflect on a relationship where practicing acceptance has improved your connection. And today I wanted to give you an update on my vestibular therapy session. It was my first appointment today. We did not do any evaluation as I was hoping. It never goes as you expect that it might. Um, We talked the whole time, but let me assure you that sitting in this room and talking took everything out of me. I just feel really, really bad right now. Um, So I'll explain. I was actually contemplating not recording tonight, and you know that that is a big no-no in my daily recovery uh, because I have to check in here for my own um, mental health and, um, and because I, it's important to me that I talk about my recovery in real time so that if there is anyone else that is suffering from anything similar to this, we have good days and bad days. You know, I've had a lot of bad days lately and, um, and today just unfortunately is not an exception. So I will talk about uh, how my vestibular therapy conversation went. Uh, But first, I wanted to share with you that today's song is Unsteady by Ex Ambassadors. I love this song. I love Ex Ambassadors, really. But I thought this was a um, a song that, I don't know, resonated with me today. Unsteady, right? So um, I will share with you the notes that I took. And then I'll talk a a little bit about how my conversation went today. And it'll probably be a short episode, but I did want to, it's only 6 p.m. I usually record at about 9 p.m. So I'm, I'm really, I think, going to knock things out and lay down for the rest of the evening into tomorrow. So these are the notes that I took for uh, Unsteady by X Ambassadors. This is what Rachel's brain was thinking today. Hold on to me. I'm a little unsteady. I'm more unsteady than I'm willing to tell you. I want my mom and dad. I feel alone so much. Don't let go. Mom, dad, God, hold on to me. I need you. Pride keeps me from saying that, but I'm unsteady. Call me. Visit me. Fight for me because I'm tired of fighting. I know you love me. Please show me. I'm unsteady, uncertain. Hold on to me and help me walk. Help me see. Hold on to me. So those are my notes. I do have a lump in my throat because I'm feeling extremely, um, I guess, vulnerable. I guess I just don't feel well. Hungry, angry, lonely, tired. I think it's also there should be a P in there somewhere (laughs) in pain. Um, Yeah, so I went into the therapy session and I started out with some paperwork, which is never great for my eyeballs. And we, uh, the, the paperwork had one that was a rating for how dizzy I feel or how unsteady I feel on my feet, coincidentally. A lot of that didn't really, um, I don't know, apply to me. It was like, how unsteady do you feel when you roll over in bed, um, when you get out of bed? And again, I don't have that sensation of the room spinning. I really have this strange, um, I don't know, lightheaded, dizzy, kind of feeling like my head's in the clouds, feeling all the time. And that coincides with this headache. 
that is constant. And when I'm um, exposed to stimuli that that are triggers for me, all of that just gets worse and worse. Um, I'm going to keep checking to see if my dog is chewing on something she's not supposed to. Uh, sorry, you can't see that, but that's what's happening in the background. So, um, okay. I know that's kind of annoying. Sorry about that, but that's just today's episode, I guess. Huh? Uh, okay. So I filled out my paperwork. That was one of them. The other one was how much does all of this affect my everyday life? And in that one, that was really a yes, no, sometimes situation, like answers. And um, for me, there were yeses almost all the way down the whole thing. Um, I really could barely see after filling out the paperwork. It really caused my eyes to be unable to focus. And... Then we proceeded back into the, I don't know, room where, well, it's not even a room. It was a very large area where they do the therapy. So there was just stuff everywhere, meaning uh, physical therapy stuff, beds and weights and all of these different types of things. And so there were windows everywhere around the entire room. The entire room was encircled in windows. And that is a very terrible uh, environment for me to be in. There were also the overhead lights were on and I was in this one-on-one -on -one conversation, which is difficult as well. So it was all very challenging for me. My symptoms just went screaming up to about an eight. Uh, right up to the point where I, if it was later in the month, I would have had sharp pains in my head. But it's about mid-month, so my emgality is working, doing its job. So uh, I just felt horrible. I still feel horrible. I did lay down and take a nap. Uh, um, and I woke up and almost felt worse. But um, I just laid down for about an hour and I'm just feeling um, very dizzy and unsteady. I mean, this, this song is perfect for today. I have a feeling, side note, that my dog is chewing on my pajamas right now. But we're going to ignore it because if I go take care of that and I come back, that means I would have to clip this part of my recording out and that would be hard on my eyes so we're just gonna we might lose a pair of <laughs> a pair of pajamas in this recording we'll see what happens I'll update you tomorrow if I remember so we her and I talked for the entire appointment it was 40 minutes and when I talk my eyes move all around that increases my symptoms I try very hard to close my eyes. It's easier for me to do it when I'm recording my podcast. It's a lot harder to do that when I'm out in the world or I'm having a conversation with somebody because it's my instinct, right? I've been looking at somebody for, you know, uh, 46 years before my stroke to when I'm having conversation. I don't want to look away. It's difficult to have a conversation and look at the ground or close my eyes. But uh, so I kept... I, I filled her in on everything, and she said, here's some things she said. One, she was not sure if my diagnosis of a vestibular migraine is accurate. It could be a cluster migraine. It seems like a cluster migraine to her. Um, today, what do I feel about that? I, I feel like cursing. That's how I feel. Um that I have gone down this road now um, for vestibular and now these two people are disagreeing on what this might be. So, you know, my hands are in the air. I, I don't know. There's, not, there's nothing else I can do but 
to just keep going in this direction and it does it it doesn't matter I guess what it is that's causing the pain I just want it to go away I was hoping that they would agree on it being a vestibular migraine but I don't really know honestly it's over my head I have no idea if it matters whether they agree or not it would it seems intellectually it seems like you would want your two doctors to agree now she's a therapist um I don't know what um her experiences in the in the you know in that area like how is she a doctor I I don't know I'd have to look that up I have no idea um so anyway she talked a lot about how your balance and all of this stuff is all dependent on a lot of different systems working together. Your vision system, your vestibular system, um, and she named a couple other systems. Psychiatric system, uh, all of this stuff has an impact on how you feel. Um, and so there's that. (laughs) I don't know what to do with that, but she said that, um, she, what she talked to me about was consistent with anything that everything that I had read, which is we need to shoot for a level. Like if I'm shooting for a pain level between zero and 10, I don't want to ever push myself past a five and I function on a daily basis probably a little past a five because if I didn't I think I would be laying down constantly um, because I just can't really do much without eliciting some sort of discomfort in my head. So we'll see my my job for the next two days is to try to keep my head symptoms below a five. And at the therapy appointment, I was about an eight. Uh, I think I got down to a five right before I, like when I laid down for my nap, I was at about a five probably. But I woke up right back up uh, at an eight. So right now I feel like I'm at about a seven. I'm not doing anything. I'm just sitting on my floor and I'm talking. Um, so we'll see. Um, let's see. That's, I guess that's it. Um, I really don't have a lot of, uh, energy to go much further, I think. So I'm just doing a quick check-in and, um, I think I'm feeling really emotional now. I feel very fragile and um, I'm just gonna lay down and, and try to rest and and I guess that's it. So um, thank you for thanks for listening and um, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Thanks.